everyone and welcome to this Friday's Fun Friday of Stamping. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun project that's created with one of our all-inclusive kits. And here are the sample cards that come with the kit. So I'm going to hold on for just a few moments just so some people can, um, everyone can find me and hopefully um, come on and share this afternoon's stamping project with me. Now, many of you may know or may not know that our annual catalog is going to be going away on May 3rd. We also have a mini catalog. I'm just gonna share this with you while I'm giving it a few minutes. This is our mini catalog. Now, our mini catalog is good through the end of June. And the project that I'm going to be creating is out of our mini catalog. So right here on page six, is a sample of one of our all-inclusive kits. This is the Hello Dear Friend. Um, everything is in here included to create the 12 cards. So you have four different cards here and you're going to be making three of each of those. Now the card kit comes with the card base, envelopes, the dies. It has these very pretty um, vellum shapes with um, brass embossing. It has glue dots, it has um, labels, it has the ink, it has everything that you're going to need um, to get started. So this is a great project for someone that is just beginning stamping. It's also a great project for just to have on hand. Something when you need a quick card, you have everything you need right in the box. I know I have taken these on trips. I've taken them um, when I've gone to visit people and different things like that because you can just grab one box and you can go. The stamping on it's quite simple too, so I think that helps with stampers that are brand new. Without having to purchase a lot of different things, you can get one of our all-inclusive kits and you get everything that you're going to need. So let me show you how it comes. So our, this kit comes in a box. It has a direction sheet right here. So it has different, the different samples of the cards that you're going to create. Flip that over. So it has all four of them. And then it has little bullet points that kind of just tell you where things go and what you need to do, the, the length of the cords you need to cut, um, where to put the dies and that type of thing. So they're just simple directions that are easy to follow. Now in your kit, now mine's kind of got a little unwound. I did pull it out to do a sample of each card. This is some really pretty copper cord that comes with it. I always love the envelopes because they add some really fun detail on the inside. So we have two, we have our traditional size um, envelope here, and then we have this cute note card. It's a smaller one. This, this one's not mailable, but it's a fun one to add to a gift. You're going to receive a block that you can use for your stamping. You're going to get an ink spot. Misty Moonlight is the color that comes with this one. You're going to get a set of stamps right here. Hi Rhonda, thank you so much for joining. Um, and I already have them on a block so that I'd have them all ready. So I don't have each of these um, actually on there. Then you get a pack of adhesive Included in this bag, we have, let me pull it out here a little bit, you have some glue dots, and then you also have a sheet of dimensionals. See, so here's some more of those envelopes. And then we have our card bases. So we have both the stripe and the floral print. And then here we have these two different ones here. So very pretty. You have several sheets here of the labels that you'll be stamping on. And these are just gonna punch out quick and easy. So we'll get those punched out. And then you have your vellum sheets that are embossed with copper, which is so pretty. So it's a thin paper, just adds a lot. There's these different shapes. So we'll use those on the different cards. One of the neat things about this um, kit too is that I don't have to figure anything out. Stampin' Up! has done all the work for me. They have everything set to go. 
We have these dies that are so pretty. We're gonna punch some of those out. And all of our pieces are here ready for us to go. There's not really a ton of stamping other than the sentiment. Now, one of the great things about this stamp, this um, kit is that once you're done, you're gonna have those sentiments that you can use over and over again on different projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and as we're just hanging on here, I'm gonna pop some of these out just so that we have everything we need to play once we get to doing our cards. The colors that are in this set, as I said, was the Misty Moonlight ink that comes with it. We also have some Crush Curry. This is Highland Heather. And this is our, I believe it's Melon Mambo. The green is either the um, Old Olive or we also have, um, in this one is the Shaded Spruce. So there's some fun colors that are in this kit. I'm gonna spread these out so you can see as I'm going. And I found with most of the kits that Stampin' Up! has, when you're done, you even have extra pieces. So you can continue using those extra pieces to create more cards, which is always fun. A few more here. Can you believe all these pieces that come in the kit? It's amazing. Now I love all these labels. Um, if you look close, you can see there are basic white cardstock, but then they have this really pretty um, copper um, trim, like a little um, edging on all of them. There's a couple different ways when you make these cards. Um, one, you could do it just how they show you, but another thing that's kind of fun is to go ahead and stamp your sentiments, different ones on all of these labels, but don't add them to your card until you need a card. That way you can just pull the label that you have that would match up with whatever the event is, whether it's a birthday, thank you, thinking of you, that type of thing. So it's kind of fun to have all these sentiments that are ready to go um, when you need a card really quick. Just a few more here, might as well get them all out. And then we can start doing a little stamping. All right. I'm just gonna pull these over to the side up here so that as I need them, I can just grab what I need. There we go. Put these over here. Add some labels over here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my little stamping pad that I'm gonna use today. Now I do have a host coat on here. And so if you are interested in any of the products that I'm sharing with you today, you can go to my website and you can go ahead and just order um, with that host code. Any orders that go in from now till the end of the month for $25 or more are going to receive a card from me. And if you place an order of 50 or more, you're going to get an embellishment, either the rhinestones or the pearls. All right. Now I happen to have the full size of these. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and just use my full size um, ink pad. This is our Misty Moonlight. It's one of our in colors. And I think I'm going to start off with this card right here. So here is the card that I completed earlier. And we're gonna need one of these yellow or crushed curry flowers. And then we're going to need two of our little branches there. We're also going to need one of the larger dies for the sentiment. And I am going to find the correct one. So this one here says, hello, dear friend. It's a great sentiment. I think it's perfect when you just want to send out a card to tell someone you're thinking about them. I'm just going to try and center that right there at the top, just like that. I'm going to set my ink aside just so that I don't get it on me. Now the cards are already scored, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that in half. I'm gonna bring my bone folder in and just rub that right around that score line. Now I did get a touch of blue ink on my hand, but luckily this is going to cover that right up. I'm going to add a couple glue dots. 
right on here. I'm actually going to pull in, where did my blue dots go? Let's see, there they are, they're hiding. All right, so we have the glue dots that come with it. And then Stampin' Up! also carries rolls of glue dots. So both of them will work just fine. The ones that come with the kit have a little paper layer on them. Let me bring this over here. So you'll go ahead and you can just put that down. You'll pick it up. It's great to just use, I'm using like our take your pick tool so it's pointed on one end. It's perfect to get underneath these and I can just put those down. And then you can just pop that paper off. Get that piece there and get this piece here. All right. So I'm going to bring the other one just right over here on that side, just like that. Next, I'll go ahead and I'll grab those dimensionals. One of the great things I like about our dimensionals is that they're all interlocking so you don't have any extra or wasted, I should say, wasted um, area. You could use every single bit of that dimensional sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just going to plop our sentiment down right there. And then let's bring one more dimensional in and add it on our flower there. I'll grab two, there we go. And we can put that on just like that. So a quick and simple card, and then we can grab our little envelope, and there we go. Now two of the extra stamps that come with this stamp set, other than the, the sentiments, there's a little leaf and then there's a little flower. So I thought it'd be fun to add that on the envelope. Because this one has our yellow or crushed curry flower, I'm gonna go ahead and use the crushed curry ink. And then I'm going to use the old olive for the, um, the, the leaf and then this for the flower. So let's go ahead and just in the corner, we're gonna stamp a cute little leaf right there. And then right on top of it, I'm gonna bring in my flower. So just as quick and simple as that, I've added a little flower and it coordinates perfect with our set. You want to do a little more? Why not open it up and we can do the same thing on the inside. Let's add our little leaf right there and then add our cute little flower. So it's just a small little flower. There we go. All right. Now we can set that one aside. Let's bring in our next small little note card. All right, this one is gonna go the other direction, so it's going to be a portrait here. I'm gonna go ahead and put away that crushed curry ink and also my um, old olive. Let's take this and we're gonna fold it and we're gonna use our bone folder again and just run that right along here. Bone folder is one of the basic tools I use, along with my take your pick tool. They're great um, tools that just help with everything you do with your projects. All right, now we're gonna use a little bit of our vellum. Again, this is vellum that's die cut, and then it has that copper etching that's in there, like embossed in there. Now, when you're using the um, vellum paper, you want to try and not put your adhesive where you're going to see it. So if we look at this card here, we can see that this die cut is going to cover the whole center. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my Seal Plus. And in place of this, you could be using the um, glue dots that come with it. But to speed it up a little bit, I'm just gonna use my adhesive. All right, so we've got that put down there. We are going to bring in one of the flower dies. This is the one that has the melon mambo. Add a few of our dimensionals on there. Yeah, this, I'm Rhonda, this is my second week of doing a Facebook Live, and I plan to come every Friday at two o'clock, 
and share with you a different project. So at the end of this Facebook Live, I'm gonna share with you what I'm going to be doing next week. So each week it'll be something different. And if for some reason I happen to be out of town or something like that, I'm gonna try and put a video up of a project um, so that you'll still have some fun Friday stamping with me. All right, this sentiment is just thank you. So I'm gonna put that right there in the middle. And that ink is a little bit wet, so I'm gonna set it there for a moment. I'm gonna add this bow right here, so I'm just going to take some of that copper cord and just tie a bow, loop it through. Just like that. All right. Now who doesn't want a little stamping, a little fun for a Friday afternoon? See, a lot of people are home, you might get a second, you can just peek on over, maybe take your break and watch a little bit of stamping. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a glue dot right there and use that just to adhere that bow at the bottom. I'm gonna flip this over, go back to those dimensionals. You'll probably notice I use a lot of dimensionals. I just like having the different layers in the, um, and that to the cards, it just adds so much to it. And we're gonna tuck that right under just like that. There we go. Now, if we wanna add the flower, we could go ahead and add flowers to that one too. But I'm just gonna bring my envelope and we're gonna set that one aside. There we go. All right, let's see which one. I think I'm gonna go with this card next. This one is using that diamond shaped um, vellum right here. So we've got that. It has the large blue flower and then it has one of these. So we need all those pieces. And then the sentiment looks like it's done on this one here. Now I'll tell you the different sentiments that came with it. This one is hello dear friend, the thank you. Those are the two we used so far. This one is a day to remember. This one is just a note, a little note. And I think, I think that's the one I'm gonna use on this one. I'm gonna switch that out a little bit. And then the last one says, you make my heart smile. So that's some really fun sentiments that are included in the kit. And you can definitely change them out and use different ones on the different cards. You don't have to follow exactly how the samples show, especially when it comes to the sentiments. There we go, there's just a note. All right, let me get my card base here. Bring in that bone folder again. All right, now again, when I add my adhesive, I'm looking at my sample and I see I can put some adhesive on the vellum here and right up here at the top. I'll put a little bit there and then a little bit here. It doesn't take much to hold it down, so it's not like you need a lot of adhesive. And this adhesive I'm using my Seal Plus is a very strong adhesive, just like the glue dots are. The glue dots are really strong and they will hold it just fine. All right, I'm going to add those dimensionals on here. One of the nice things about creating some of our kits is that with each kit you're going to get um, the little small ink spot. So as you collect the different kits, you're gonna collect a lot of different ink spots. So you'll get a lot of different inks before you need to invest in the full size ink. I'm gonna tuck that underneath there a little bit. I put it on a dimensional, which I probably didn't need to. Let me find a good spot. Um, how about right there? Coming out like that. I think that looks good. All right, I'm going to cut off a piece of the copper. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two ends and then I'm going to take this around my finger and just put it right through, kind of like a slip knot. So it gives me this loop with these two dangly ones hanging off here. On the back of my sentiment, I will add some dimensionals. 
just like that. And I can peel these off. And then take this and just kind of tack. It doesn't have to be down a lot, even if it's just hitting one of those to kind of keep it in place. And then I can bring this in here, put it across just like that. There we go. So it has just a little bit of something here with this copper wire and it has your flower, it has your leaves and all of that. Now, one of the other products I really like using, and it always jazzes things up, is our Winka Stella. So we love, if you love adding glitter, if you add like to add a little bit of shimmer on that, but you don't want to use like actual glitter, this is going to do the trick. You just rub it on, and it is going to add shimmer wherever you put it. So I'm just going to add it on the misty moonlight part of this flower. And then I'll show you the difference of the card I made already and the card that has the shimmer on it. So I'm gonna hold that up a little closer. So this one here has the shimmer and this one here is just the die cut. So just adding that little bit of sparkle, it just adds so much to the card. Let's see if I get the angle right. Sometimes it's really hard to see on the camera, maybe like that, but anyways, it adds just a really fun pizzazz to it. Okay, so this is our last card of the four cards, and we're gonna be using three of the flowers. So we are going to use this one that has the um, Highland Heather. This one is our Melon Mambo. And then we're going to use this one here. Let's see if I grab it. This one here, which is our Crushed Curry. We're also gonna use our large background vellum piece. And then this is our card base. Now, if you haven't done any projects with Stampin' Up! and their cards, one of the things that you're going to find that you love is the thickness of our cardstock. It's not flimsy. It's not, um, it just has so much body to it. It holds the creases and it's a nice, a really nice card. All right, I'm going to flip this over. And this time I am going to add um, the little glue dots. So I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to put them in the corners and I'm thinking that since it has the copper there that that is going to be enough to kind of hide it behind must be someone outside my dog is barking down there all right so we have a few on there and now I'm just going to flick off that little paper piece protector now I have so many um, of these little dots and dimensionals left over from kits. They give you so many in the kits and you definitely don't use all of them. So it's a great stash that you have. If you do wanna go stamping with a friend or do something, you don't wanna bring all of your um, product in that. So, All right, let's go ahead and just place this down right here in the middle. I'm going to take one flower here. We're just going to kind of scatter our flowers along, do like a little border in the corner. So let's see, I think I'll add this one kind of right there. And I think at the beginning I did tell you this was an all-inclusive kit. It does come with the ink. It comes with um, a block. It comes with the stamp set and all of that. It's $32. And it includes all of that, so it's a great gift. Now you could go ahead and make all these cards up and then add a bow to the box and it'd be a perfect gift to someone for um, a friend's birthday, great for Mother's Day, something like that. It's just a really fun, fun kit. So there we have our three flowers. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and even take one of my branches here and I'm gonna go ahead and add that on. I don't think the sample says that, but I know I have a couple extra pieces I think I'm just going to have it, let me think. Eh, maybe I'll have it come out here. Just like that. This one, I forgot to do my sentiment when I started, so let's bring that in. I'm going to also have my Misty Moonlight ink right here. I'm just tapping 
when you're using our regular size ink pads, you want to just tap, tap, tap like that. You don't want to push into them. There we go. Give it a little wave. And then I'm going to bring my copper cord, which I have it all tangled up here. That happens sometimes. But I'm going to use it all eventually, so that's okay. This time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie another bow. I'm going to make a little bit loopier, larger bow. And then I'll just trim that off. All right. So my sentiment is going to be going right in here, kind of tucked in like that. I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals right on here this time, a little bit different. And then take my copper bow here and just kind of have it come out a little bit. Then I'll take my sentiment and tuck it in. There we go. So now we have that fun copper that's just kind of flinging out a little bit there like that. All right. Now, if you are a stamper or you are a crafter, sometimes you have um, some embellishments laying around. I happen to have a pack of our pearls. I think the pearls would look really fun um, to go along with this set. And so I'm just going to grab a few of our pearls and add them on here. Now our sheets of pearls and our rhinestones come with a, a lot and it comes in all different sizes. So it starts small, which is the majority, and then it has some larger ones over here. I think adding a few pearls on here just adds a little bit, just a little bit to kind of just add a little bit more pizzazz. So there we go. All right, let's bring those cards back in and share with you all the different cards that we created today. There's just a note, you make my heart smile, a cute little thank you. And the last one is our little hello friend, dear friend. Well, I hope you like the projects today. Again, the name of this kit is Hello Dear Friend. So it's all inclusive. It comes with everything you need and everything to get you started stamping. I hope you enjoyed my little projects and I hope you come back next Friday and check out what I'm going to be making. Let me give you a little teaser on what that is going to be. It's another kit, but this one is one of our medleys. So it is one that has everything you need, but it's for someone that maybe um, has a few things already. What comes with it is you're going to get 48 sheets of paper. So it's our cactus and it comes with all these pieces you can cut out, you can die cut, and then it flips over and then there's different paper on the other side. It also comes with some of our linen thread. We have a little Calypso coral and then just our neutral color here. There are these really fun felt flowers that just punch out. So you get all these cute little flowers and they come in both uh, the Highland Heather and the Calypso Coral. Those are great. They have a flower there even. This is the stamp set, Flowering Cactus. It's really fun, has some cute little sayings that go with cactuses. And then you're also going to get a die set. So with the die set, you can actually die cut out. Let me go back to the beginning here. I had those pieces in here, my scraps, because I've been playing a little bit with it. Let's see if I get to those pieces. All these different ones are so cute. All right, here we go. So these dies coordinate with the designer series paper. So you can cut those out. You've got this other little cactus here. You've got some flowers and there's a double, so you can do both. 
We've got this little flower here. I mean, there's just so many pieces there. Look at that, all those pieces. And then you get these really cute textured ones. So this one you can use as a border. And then here's one that you can actually have a cactus you can die cut out of some paper. So I'm really excited about next week, showing you stepping up, um, but also doing some really simple cards with this kit. I think it'll be a fun project, and I hope that you will be able to join me. So I'll see you next Friday at 2 o'clock for Stamping with Jeannie. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.